We have to say right off the bat that the Note 5 is not night and day different than the Note 3. In fact, the name itself is rumored to be 5 because 4 is unlucky in mainland China. Although it is more believed that the 4 was reserved for when they went off the Note line to make the Air series. In fact, a new metal body and some light specs are all that's really different than its predecessor. But how exactly is it different? Well, it's chalkboard time. So we'll put the Note 3 on the left and the Note 5 on the right. They are both 10.3 inch screens running HD Mobius 1872 by 1404 with 227 DPI as they say on the website or PPI. They both have 64 gigs of onboard storage, no SD card and 4 gigs of RAM. The Note 3 weighs in at 378 grams, whereas the metal-crafted Note 5 is 420 grams. The Note 5 has a magnet on the side so you can snap the Pro Pen and the Pen 2 Plus to the side, and it is running Android 11, whereas the previous gen is running Android 10, and unfortunately, as of the date of this upload, there is no plans to upgrade the older devices. And surprisingly enough, they've actually reduced the battery size by 1300 milliamps. So as you heard the specs, we're done with the specs, you now know that you're not expecting a brand new experience. This is more of the same, they're using the same screen, everything else, in fact the battery is significantly smaller, so we're really just going to be focusing on a lot of the hardware, the pens, and a couple different tweaks and differences here. We'll show books and everything like that, of course. However, the first thing is, is that it's magnetic now but is made out of aluminum. Aluminum is a non-ferrous metal, therefore is not magnetic. And there's no magnets here. What they actually do is they put a little piece of steel on the insides here so that your pens are magnetic to the side. So as you heard the specs, we're done with the specs, you now know that you're not expecting a brand new experience. This is more of the same, they're using the same screen, everything else, in fact the battery is significantly smaller, so we're really just going to be focusing on a lot of the hardware, the pens, and a couple different tweaks and differences here. We'll show books and everything like that, of course. However, the first thing is, is that it's magnetic now but is made out of aluminum. Aluminum is a non-ferrous metal, therefore is not magnetic. And there's no magnets here. What they actually do is they put a little piece of steel on the insides here so that your pens are magnetic to the side. You will see this is the Pro Pen with magnet. This is the Pen 2 Plus, the one they give you. We'll talk about pens in a second. So you can snap the Pen 2 Pro to the side. That one holds really good because this one actually has some of the strongest magnets compared to the rest of their line. And the Air Pen, which has some of the weakest magnets. This one's actually extremely weak. It doesn't really hold on there at all. Although the Air Pen has the best nibs because they're using a conical triangular nib with a little bit of a gap to account for flex. It's a fantastic pen. We'll be using this one after we show off the pens for the majority of the review. The Pen 2 Plus is the one that comes with this unit, and you'll know because it has this little cap, sewing needle thumb cap thing on it that comes from factory. And you can just put that off the side, doesn't do anything. And there is no eraser at the back, although you actually can press down really hard while you twist, and that opens up the back, and there's a little screw hole in there. So you can actually open the device up if you need to service it. Would you ever need to do that? No. Now the thing about this is that this is part of the new line of pens. Whether you get the Lumi, the Note 5, or the Air 2, you get this pen. And why that is disappointing is because it uses the regular nibs and they're not that great they're a dime a dozen they're used on basically everything in the industry they're just standard nibs the writing experience is decent the magnets are the strongest and it's what you get when you get the unit this is the air pen the one we all want the one they had even a white variant of it and they discontinued that i'm not sure why this one has the air tips fantastic no you can't switch the tips it is impossible. They will not function with each other. This one has a different diameter stock. It's completely different. It doesn't seat. It does not work. Air Pen is fantastic. This is one of my favorite pens. This is the Magnet Pen 2 Pro, it's called. It has an eraser on the back. It uses the exact same nibs as all the other pens, including the Pen 2 Plus and even the basic Wacom pen from Netronics that everyone and their mom uses. This one is a decent build. 
build. It's a little bit heavier, a couple grams heavier than the Pen 2 Plus. It snaps to the side. It has decently strong magnets, not as strong as the Plus, and the names are very, very confusing. But this one is sold separately. It doesn't get included in any one that you buy. The OS is very much the same. You can tap the top. This brings up all of your top information. Everything is very icon based. So it's very nice. You can cast a screen, you can rotate, you can go to the help desk, etc. You have the e-ink center, which is device wide. You can change the enhancement of the colors, basically the weight and the contrast. And you have all of your modes down below. We'll show you modes near the end of the video. You have on the side, library store, notes, storage, apps, and settings. Yes, it does have Google Play. And if you click on any of these, the bar remains the exact same and everything in the middle changes. You can go down to notes. This is where you're going to take all your notes. Your storage is your basically just device storage. Now you will notice that after only putting a book, a PDF, and a manga, very small files, and one image of a car that we'll show you, we've used up almost a quarter of our storage. Very, very interesting. This is one of the heaviest loads of OS reliance we've seen in a long time. Almost 25% with nothing else loaded on this. You have your apps down here. You can sideload in your own apps. You can download from the App Store. The App Store doesn't have a whole lot of apps. In fact, they only have about 40. Oh, they've upgraded to 50 now. The last generation only had 42. So we have 50 apps here. Now the beauty about the apps here is that when you download the Amazon Kindle app and you download OneNote, for example, they're catered to this device. So the latency is going to be really good. The page turn animations etc we'll show you that a little bit later on and settings down here something really interesting about the settings on this one is that if you go down to server you can actually see that the US bookstore is right there push.books.com but there's also a preloaded and one of the only two choices is a VN a Vietnamese bookstore so we're gonna maybe check that out because we've never looked into that before and it could be interesting to see what kind of experience we get so what it basically did is it skinned everything and it's now showing you basically the same books, but they're also giving you Vietnamese titles, which is very interesting. So if you go full edition download, you're just going to be able to download it right away. You don't need to buy it. You don't need to sign in or anything like that. And why that is, is because whether you're on the English version, the Vietnamese version, you get public domain books for the most part. So all of these are just going to be Project Gutenberg stuff or the Vietnamese equivalent of Project Gutenberg. So it's going to be stuff that just anyone can get. Anyone can download. They're not going to be the New York Times bestsellers. And you can see here that you can switch between servers, which is kind of interesting because we haven't seen that on every single Onyx device and they give it to you as a choice. For now, however, we're just going to look at a regular ebook. So you can tap the center and that'll bring up some navigation things down below. Below. You can swipe through a lot of the book by using the slider bar. Now, a lot of people are always concerned with page turn speeds and stuff like that. We've come a long way in the world of e-ink. You don't have to worry about page turn speeds. You don't have to worry about customization. In fact, Onyx is one of the most customizable, friendly, function friendly, ease of use, and also completely professional at the same time of the way you can change everything. Look at all these options. You have everything from standard font sizes all the way down to text Unicode options. It is absolutely robust. You have spacing style. You can go to town with all of these and there's tens of thousands of combinations of anything you want to do. You can do leading, which spreads out each individual character of each individual word. It's absolutely completely up to you how you want to craft your experience and you can just swipe everything back to the left if you want to change everything back to normal. This contrast is different than the e-ink center you'll find at the top. This one actually is just for the book and it will isolate image elements and text elements and you'll be able to cater the sharpness and the contrast of each of those as you see fit. So if you're reading something that is very image heavy, you'll be able to just isolate that. If you press and hold on something, you get a great deal of dictionary definitions, translations. You can do Bing Translate. It's automatic, of course, because it's just based on the internet. You can choose from any language to any language you see on the drop down right here. You do have five pages of about six, so 30 languages altogether. And you can take notes right on the screen using the pen. 
And it doesn't require you to set anything up. You don't need to initiate scribble. You don't need to start anything. You can just start taking notes right on here, anywhere you want on the elements of the book. It doesn't matter if you're going to go over text or anything like that. Now, it doesn't have any clip art kind of things like some manufacturers do. You don't underline something and it highlights automatically, but it is nice that you can just draw right on an EPUB. We have our go-to baseball PDF, and we always use this one because it remains constant across all platforms, and this way it'll just be completely consistent no matter what device we use it on. It is a high quality, very low load PDF. It's not very big, and it's perfect for devices like this. You get some text, you get some images. You can do pinch and zoom, but it doesn't work right off the bat. What do you have to do? You have to actually click on here, go up to here, go down to settings, Click on other settings, enable pinch to zoom, and then go back all the way to the beginning. You have to do that because you can start writing right away. And if you have your hand on the screen like this and you start to tap it, sometimes it interacts and sometimes it thinks you're doing something else. Although it's pretty good at not recognizing that you have your palm on the screen for the most part, but things can happen. The PDF experience is decent. It does speed up quite a bit with different speed modes, but for the most part, it does go into a faux A2 mode right off the bat when you do pinch and zoom and then when you let go it automatically renders itself contrast is all right out of the gates you can change that you can go down to format and then you have all these options including contrast right there you can embolden you can sharpen the image and there's that thing where it actually isolates the highlights and low lights of just the images you can see there or the entire thing as a whole etc now you can sideload in any app you want you don't have to use the neo reader it's just the one that's preloaded loaded on here. Manga looks very, very nice because this is using an HD screen. The PPI is not the highest, but that just kind of comes with the territory as you expand the screen. Naturally, the density expands alongside with it, therefore you have less dense of a screen. Manga looks really good. You can download Manga, sideload, and then put it on your device. Unfortunately, the Onyx store doesn't have a whole lot of Manga selection, so you're going to have to rely on your home PC in order to get your Manga fixed, or sideload in an app where you can read Manga on the app. You know what, while we're here, let's look at one of the Vietnamese books we downloaded because we do have a Vietnamese audience, albeit not the largest, but there definitely is. So if you guys have some international presence and you read or write Vietnamese and you find use in this, well then that's fantastic because you have a complete ability to load in the Vietnamese store that they have already crafted for you. If you want to see a 20 minute note taking showcase, you can click the video at the top of the card. That'll show you and tell you everything you need to know. We'll show you some things here because it is extensive. You can customize your pens. This is the first device that has ever allowed you to do that. You can just keep adding pens. You can add up to five pens total and you can change every attribute about them. So I want this one to be a regular ballpoint that thick with a light gray. I want this one to be a highlighter. I want this one to be fountain. And as you're drawing, you can swipe in between all of those. Very nice. That's out of the way with that. Let's choose a fountain and I'll just tell you how this feels. It's hard to explain, of course. Now, when you're using the regular pen, and what I mean by that is the nibs, because Aside from the pen you're using, it can be all fancy schmancy as much as you want. It all comes down to the tip on the actual surface. Now they said they put a screen protector on here that increases the overall grittiness and everything. And the stock tips are okay. It's just that they've teased us because they have a pen that is far superior to that. In that the conical nibs are more accurate. They feel better. It has a little bit of a flex because they actually put a half or a third of a millimeter in between the pen itself and the holster. It is a very good pen, the Air Pen. It is far more accurate, feels way better on the page. It's just a better experience that it's a shame that they got rid of because it's really, really nice. And again, if you're just joining us, no, you can't swap out the tips. The stock experience is all right. You get a little bit of resistance. It does feel slightly smooth. It's kind of on glass but the screen protector most definitely helps. You can see it does slide around a little bit. It's not like a Stadler or a Big Me where the nibs are inherently sticky. This is more of the felt composite with just a plastic kind of experience. Another thing is that the all great 
Air Pen doesn't have an eraser, neither does the Pen 2 Plus. You actually have to use the Pen 2 Pro. This is the one that has an eraser on it. You can set the eraser as well by going to the side over here. You can choose Stroke Eraser, Mobile Eraser, Area Eraser, etc. The eraser is fairly nice, although it doesn't push down or anything, and it doesn't have a soft kind of erasery feel like a Stadler Jumbo, so you're not actually sure that it's really doing it. You know, you tap something and it's like, yeah, it erases. But at the same point, several strokes, it's like, where's the receptor? And we also have a little bit of some movement. Now, it has nothing to do with the quality of the eraser whatsoever. It's just the way that it's built pushes in about two millimeters and pulls out. And either way, even if you pull it out and then you tap down, it's just going to automatically push in. So why that was featured in the beginning, I'm not sure, although the pen looks great and it feels great in your hand. With Onyx, however, there's just the functionality and the customization is so massively huge. You have so many colors. You have about 16 colors total. Colors, we say shades of gray. You have upwards of making six layers. You have ways to expand your canvas. You can choose geometric shapes as well. Not only can you choose geometric shapes, you can choose the color of the shape, the thickness, and whether you want breaks in it. So if you're doing drafting and all of the dotted lines versus the solid Solid lines mean different things based on your legend. This will be in progress, this will be completed for example. You can do that and it makes your life so much easier. Onyx has thought of absolutely everything. You have lasso tools, you can lasso certain areas of things, you can move it around, you can change the orientation of it, you can stamp it, you can copy everything on the page and stamp it on a new page. There's nothing you really can't do on this, you can even add recordings right on the screen. I'm going to put this recording right on the canvas and then I'll play it back for all of you guys right away. I'm going to put this recording right on the canvas and then I'll play it back for all of you guys right away. There are two ways to convert text. You have original recognition and reflow. Doing original is going to change it right where it is on the page and exactly where you wrote it. You can go back and you can choose reflow recognition, in which case it's going to justify everything to the top left corner and it'll be in line respectively with spaces as well. From there, you can continue writing with the keyboard. You can draw out your characters. You put a P, P is going to show up there, or you can dictate as well, which is very useful. Hello, I am taking notes on the Onyx. And from there, you can just keep on writing. You can share it. You can instantly email it to yourself. You can send it to yourself in different applications like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. It is a very easy experience and it is a very instant and very functional experience. The features don't end there. You have three dots at the bottom that loads up a bunch more things. Full refresh, delete the current page, export, redo, share. Share is where you're going to be sharing it to Facebook Messenger and Line and WhatsApp and Kakao, etc. You can insert images so you can go through the whole device. We've put images in the picture folder so you go ahead, go like that. Throw that on the canvas, move it around, you can expand it. You can have something that you took a photo of, put it on your canvas. You could sign it, you can change aspects of it, you can load in comic cells and draw your own comics. It's completely up to you, you get a lot of functionality. There's so many things you can do on this unit. You can change the sidebar position and if you want some of these things like undo and redo to be on the sidebar, you can customize the toolbar and move things to the quick keys or keep them in buried where the three dots are. Sideloaded apps and other apps other than the stock note-taking app are always fairly terrible. You draw a line and it takes a second to show up. OneNote, they've catered and completely conformed the efficiency to this unit, which means as I write, it's going to be basically just as fast. There's going to be some rendering things because, for example, this unit is doing a funny rendering thing based on the pen you choose. You draw a line and then it flashes and it renders it. But the overall latency is the exact same, which is very nice. And you can actually increase that by or decrease the latency and increase the speed by going to X mode. Now, warning, X mode looks terrible. 
you can see there's lots of staining, but it's very fast. Very, very fast experience. Very fast. And if you try to sideload in sketch or, you know, paint or something like that, it's going to look very bad. And as you draw lines, it's just going to take forever to catch up. So this is a very, very great breath of fresh air app. The Amazon app works perfectly fine. Just sign into it. You can browse all of the books here. You can go into your library. This is already the store, but you can visit the store, click on something, download a sample, make a purchase decision, link your credit card, everything you can do on the Amazon app, you can expect to do on here. In the end, the Note 5 is technically an upgrade over the 3. I mean, it's newer, and has newer Android. And in this world of planned obsolescence where device manufacturers always release incremental updates, it makes this device extremely necessary, as older devices are not eligible for later versions of Android, nor do they have expandable memory. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.